All right, students. Next up, we'll have a speech from Wookie and Spike, two cousins in our community. Students, if there's one thing that should be most important in your life, it's your family. No matter what the circumstances, you're always there for each other, and it's very important to value one another. Yo, what's up, funky fresh middle schoolers? Sorry about my cousin, he's a total nerd. Anyway, I'm seeing some fresh faces out there. Hi, just want to clarify, I'm Spike, as indicated by the hair and the fact it's a cooler sounding name. And hey, and let me just say, what you guys are doing here is totally cool. I mean, middle school, like, come on, those are like the best five years of my life. Uh, I see some, uh, I see some familiar faces out there in the crowd. Um, back there we got my homie Zeke. What's up, Zeke? Yeah. And then in front of him, we got, uh, we got the two kids that I see everywhere. Hey, remember that time that I, I puked on you guys in the restaurant? Yeah, I, that was pretty cool. Anyway, I just want to go off on the note that I'm the coolest one in my family and that I totally have the most swag. Swag is stupid. What? No, it's not. Swag is still cool. I'm swagnificent. You're a loser. You stay. All right, fine. I guess I'm just gonna have to show you kids how cool I really am by pulling off my ultimate swag move. It appears Spike has caused some disturbance in his lower vertebrae. So, what? You're basically saying he broke his back? Yeah, he's an idiot. Alright, I'm gonna go check up on him, see if he's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Walter. <laughs> Splat. Uh, Spike, you asleep? Uh, yeah. yeah, sorry, Wookie, I was just having the, uh, the most amazing dream. So, um, are the doctors gonna be able to fix me? Not really, Spike. You've kind of screwed up your backbone. But don't worry, you'll be just... Spine. So, are you guys just gonna leave me in this bed, or uh, do I get to uh, ride in your back? Uh, no, not exactly. <laughs> you look like an old lady! <laughs> Yeah, Wookie, I'm critically injured. It's hilarious. Well, now that he's taken care of, looks like we have the rest of the day to do whatever we want. <coughs> Hello? Yeah, um, Dr. Sword of Evil came out of the TV, and, uh, he kidnapped Ezekiel. Again. Why are you guys at my house watching TV? When aren't we at your house watching TV? Eh, uh, you got a point. Looks like we're going to have to get the squad back together, but there's a slight problem since Spike's injured, so, um, we're going to need a fifth ninja. Well, do you know anyone we can call on short notice, then? Eh, I got an idea, but I'm not sure if it'll work out too well. I get to be a ninja? Yeah, no, Nuki, you, uh, you don't get to be a ninja. You, you just get to kind of hang out with us and, uh, provide moral support. Oh. Can I at least have a cool power like you guys? Gosh, Nuki, we'd give you one if we knew how, but I'm pretty sure we have everything taken care of. I can summon the powers of ice and snow to help fight and freeze our enemies. Yes, and I have the best- Mike specializes in stealth, and he can also light things on fire. And I have the best- Bronco's strata. a meteorologist, which means he can predict the weather? And I have the best strategy! Oh yeah, and, uh, Walter has the best strategy, or, um, something. Walter, that's not a power. YES IT IS! Alright, alright, fine. So, um, who's our enemy? Oh, uh, yeah, he, um, he's from a TV show, not sure if you ever heard of it, but, uh, his name is Dr. Sorta Evil. Dad, come on, they're about to fight the bad guy. You guys are going down! Uh... Nuki? You alright? He's like that because I used my powers on him. Uh, where the heck are we? Obviously in some sort of cell, you idiot. 
That evil ninja put us here. Probably because you're so stupid. That's only part of the reason. I put you two in this evil cage because I require you two for my evil plan. Well, your stupid cage is almost as stupid as my stupid nephew. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. I, look, I even chose that toilet just for you. Yeah, I'm not exactly as young as you think. Anyways, now that you're locked up, you have no choice but to work for me now, Daft Punk. Wait, you think we're Daft Punk? You mean like Daft Punk like... Zeke, don't make me break you. Sorry. All I require from you is a totally awesome soundtrack I can play while I take over the world. I want the citizens to be struck with fear, but... But, 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 but not too much. So can you do it? Please? Well, uh, I'm not exactly sure if we can, uh... Of course we can. And if we can't, Zeke is getting grounded. Fantastic! I'll hold the meeting to discuss the plans in two hours, unless... Unless that's too long for you. Uh, better make it one hour. Uncle Nigel, what are we doing? We're not Daft Punk! I know we aren't. Trust me, we need to buy time. Okay, I guess. Stupid old chair. It's almost as ugly as my cousin. Eh, well, at least I can still watch my favorite TV show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, what's up, guys? Robbie Radical here for another radical episode of Radicalness. Uh, today in the studio, we got a um, Flavor Flavor News crew um, talking about their new album. So, uh, guys, uh, which, uh, what's the new album called? Yeah, the new cool album is called uh, Too Cool for College by um, Flavor Flav. <laughs> Between me and you and everyone watching at home, did you actually go to college? Are you cool kidding me? All them books and stuff? Man, that's stupid. Right on! College is for losers! Yeah, <laughs> you said it! Alright, before we watch some total idiots get hurt, let me tell you, uh, you viewers about our new, uh, promotion we're having. In which, if you have a cool set of wheels and a stupid personality, you could try to jump the crowd during one of our live shows. Again, jump the entire crowd, all you need is a pair of wheels, and you have to be really stupid. I have a set of wheels. And I'm stupid. Ew. Ew. Alright, if I had to wager a guess where Ezekiel is at, it's probably over there, because Kmart doesn't usually look like that. Well, there's no doubt in my mind that he's being held there, but the question is, where are all the guys that are supposed to be guarding it? Right here. Yeah! Oh my gosh, it's all the drones from Root Beer Planet! What the heck, that, that place blew up! Interesting, someone must have leaked their blueprints to Dr. Sword of Evil allowing him to make an entire robot army. Yeah, but that doesn't explain all those evil clones of Mr. Ninja over there. Fascinating. In episode 232, he used a similar technique to create an army of shadow monsters to destroy the ninjas. Well, that explains that, but what's up with all those Kmart employees over there? Huh. I, uh, I don't actually have an explanation for that. I got laid off. Ever really bored. Stay back! I'll take on these ruffians! No effect. No effect! Nuki, my powers aren't working. For the last time, Nuki, you don't have any powers! I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, Nuki. Walter doesn't have any powers either. I have the best strategy! That's not a power, Walter. You don't have any, and you're the only one that doesn't other than Nuki. Oh, come on! Bronco doesn't have any powers either. What does he do? Stare at people? No, please. Yeah! Yes. Well, Raul, this ramp looks pretty cool. I can't wait to test it out. It was no problem at all. In addition to making healthy choices, I'm also an excellent ramp builder. And I'm also not fat like you. Yeah, well you can make a healthy choice and shut up. I do it for the fans. 
both of you, Swag and YOLO. Dude, I think he's hurt. Maybe he's just hungry. Try giving him some of your soup. Do it again for the vine. Alright, I want this Daft Punk album to be the best one yet. What do you think we should call it? Why don't we call it Zeke Shut Up? Hmm, that sounds pretty good. But uh, maybe it's a little rude. No, it's great. Let's call it Zeke Please Shut Up. I guess that works. Just as long as it embarrasses him. Oh man. Order the new Daft Punk album, Zeke Please Shut Up, today. Available for only $18. Unless that's too much. Maybe only six. All right, maybe four? All right, that'll be enough. Well, if it isn't the guy who killed me before. Dr. Sword of Evil, you might as well give up. We already have you outnumbered. Yeah, I'm sorry I have to do this to you guys. Guys, I tried to save you, but penguins can't fly. Wookie, owls can fly. Yeah, but you're too fat. <laughs> Darn it, I should have froze them or something. Dark Realm now. Gosh darn it. What's wrong? Where are you going? I don't have any powers whatsoever. I can't contribute anything to this team. Therefore, I'm going to go try to get powers and don't even bother following me. I'm not injured. I just have to use the bathroom. <laughs> I left the house in a fit of rage. Knowing that my only true escape could be the northern mountains of Kauai, it was here I knew that I could venture off to find ice powers of my very own. It struck me. Perhaps the bitter cold was... Oh wow, it is pretty cold. I probably should have brought like a jacket or something. And anyway, I knew if there was one place I could... Oh man, it is really cold. Uh, I think I mean like frostbite on my eyes? Is that even possible? Can you get frostbite on your eyes? Because I think... Mm... Anyway, I knew it was here I could have confidence. I could have power. I could have strength. He has hypothermia. But how is this even possible? This is the second friend I've had in the hospital this week. And this time it's actually kind of sad because people actually like him. Hey Nuki, come on. It's time for us to get out of here. We still have a mission to do. No use. The doctor says he's in a coma and he's not going to wake up for several days. Oh, then how do you get back here? Oh, Mickey brought him back. I found him in the mountains. But what was Mickey doing out there with him? I don't know. Uh, what is this, the Matrix? Oh, my son. Dad? Dad, I can't believe it's you. What are you doing here? I have an important message for you. An important message for me? What is it? I already know I have high blood pressure, Dad. You can stop reminding me. Dr. Sword of Evil's weakness? What is it? Uh, sunships? I love you too. What? Why do you love me? What? No, Walter, I don't love you. It's just I saw a vision of my dad. A vision of your dad? That's pretty weird. Yeah, I know. He isn't even dead yet. 
Did I at least get any cool ice powers? No. Can you go to the ice machine down the hall and bring me some ice so I can pretend I have cool ice powers? No. Can we go get ice cream? Yep, this is great. What a productive use of my time. Spending all my money and watching you cry at ice cream. This is great. This is exactly what I wanted to do today. Yeah, I love this. No, Walter, it's not your fault. It's just I remember this ice cream and sugar. And if I eat sugar, I blow up. Well, it's just ice cream. It doesn't matter that much. We can just give it to one of our friends. I mean, that's what friendship is all about. Wait, that's it. Friendship. What, what about friendship? It's when I just said, you know, it's friendship. Yeah, I know. Friendship. That's Dr. Sword of Evil's true weakness. Okay, I think we better take you back to the hospital. No, no, no. Trust me. This'll work. Alright, Swag Swag, I know you guys wanted to have this meeting, Swag, so, uh, Swag Swag, why don't you just tell me what's up, Swag? Yeah, Spike, you're great and all, but I think your swag is a little too high. You guys are just jealous that I'm Swagnificent. That's not even a word. Yes, it is a word, and I'll have you know, having too much swag is never a bad thing. Why do you keep talking like that? It's really annoying. I don't even know what you mean. See? You did it again. Spike, how many selfies have you taken today? One. See, Spike, I know you're lying because you were just in the bathroom for six and a half hours. I spent half of that time adjusting my hair. I mean, uh, I was in there because I had uh, butt cramps. Butt cramps? Yes, I get butt cramps. Is that a freaking problem, you guys? You know what? I don't need you anymore, because when I go on radicalness, Rob Dirk, Robbie Radical is going to see how cool I am. He's going to want me on the show every day. Are you going to try to kill me again? What? Fiero? Where's Doctor Sword of Evil? I don't know. They went to some stupid TV show. What? That doesn't make any sense. Of course there's a studio that does the news that Bronco works at, but the only other studio in Kauai is the one that videotapes... Radicalness! The show where people get hurt and I get paid for it. Now today in the studio we have a very special guest. It is the one, the only, Daft Punk. Hey, say hello to everyone, Daft Punk. Yeah. Hello. Daft Punk, looks like you guys brought a friend. 
Just ignore me, I'm not here. Well, no, he's not exactly a friend. He's, he just yells and he's really mean to us. Okay, that's cool too. Now, Daft Punk, it's my understanding that you brought a little uh, demo for us from your new and upcoming album, Zeke, Please Shut Up. Yeah, it may not exactly be what Hey, you mind if we would uh, play a little bit for the audience? Yes. All right, here's Daft Punk with their new hit single, Zeke, Do Your Homework Before I Hit You. Uncle Nigel, I just don't get it. What's not to get? You simply multiply by the denominator. What the heck is a denominator? Uncle Nigel, they never taught me this in school. Oh my gosh, you're killing me. Just do the stupid homework. That's the thing, I can't do the homework unless you give me some help. I never even learned this in school. What the heck? What the heck? School, what the heck? Learn the heck? Just do the homework. Home, 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 homework. Just do the homework. Home, 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 homework. Just Uncle do the Nigel, homework. I'm home, 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 homework. Just do the homework. 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 Home, 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 homework. He never did it. But instead of hitting him, I grounded him for seven weeks. Well, that was, a, uh, That was... something. Well, anyway, now to see our radical event of the evening. Spike is gonna jump the entire audience. Hey, Spike, are you really dumb enough to do this? You bet I am! Swag! <laughs> Alright, that was radical. So, Daft Punk, do you think you'll win Album of the Year again? Daft Punk? Daft Punk, are you okay? I can't take it anymore. Alright, we're not Daft Punk, okay? You see, we lied. And he is a bad guy who's trying to destroy the entire world. You fool! You have revealed my plan and hurt my feelings. I'm sending you to the dark realm. Yeah. That's like the fourth time I've done that to someone. That ice won't hold him for long, Wookie. Huh? Nuki? We found Dr. Sword of Evil's ultimate weakness. It's friendship. That's the only thing that can stop him. All the ninjas need to be friends in order to dispel his evil from this world. Well, why isn't it working? We're all friends. Not all of us. No. Ah, oh, come on, Spike! It's the fate of the world! Why can't you just be my friend for, like, a minute? Because you're stupid and I hate you. Come on, Spike, there's some way you can become friends. Well, uh, there is one way, but, yeah, I'm not sure if it would work. Anything, Spike, just tell us! Well, TGI Fridays is having this bottomless appetizers thing going on tonight. And, I don't know, I kind of wanted to go, but, uh, unfortunately, I don't really have the money. So, maybe if Walter took all of us to TGI Fridays and paid for all of us, then maybe I'd be his friend. What? No way! That's super expensive! It's on a whole nother island! Well then, uh, I guess we'll just never be friends then. Come on, Walter, quit being so selfish. I'm not gonna spend all my money on TGI Fridays! Well, okay, then, uh, then I guess we'll never be friends. Ever. And the world's gonna be destroyed and it'll be all your fault. Just because you didn't take me to TGI Fridays. Er, uh, fine, whatever! I'll take you to TGI Fridays! Are we friends now? Okay, but I'm not happy about it. No! Wow, how nice of Walter to take us to my favorite restaurant and pay for everyone. And that crazy explosion snapped all your vertebrae right back together. How convenient. I guess today turned out to be a good day after all. I hope you choke on everything. I hate you too, Walter.